when I came, moved into Michigan in, or in uh, 2001, um, they had identified a project called the Tip of the Keweenaw Peninsula, which is a project up here in in uh, the Keweenaw, but it's way out at the tip of the Keweenaw, and it didn't have any, anything to do with Bay Degree. In fact, at that time, I, I knew nothing about Bay Degree. And um, interesting story here, um, I was told you need to take a flight over Bay Degree wetlands, or I, I mean, excuse me, over the tip of the Keweenaw, and uh, evaluate if that's a significant area that the Conservancy should work on. And during that flight, it was really an interesting flight because the pilot said, I want to fly you up along the coast and look at all the coastal areas up through Bay Degree and on up to the uh, to the tip of the Keweenaw Peninsula project we were uh, involved with. And um, what I noticed is I took all kinds of pictures along this coastal area and, you know, I noticed Bay Degree wetlands and Loch Bell and a number of other areas, but, you know, the idea was to look at the tip of the Keweenaw, which is a project we helped on we helped preserve 6,700 acres for the state of Michigan on the tip of the Keweenaw. And um, what happened is I went back to the office and I, and I talked to my supervisor and I said, and her name was Tina Hall, I said, Tina, what's the story with this big, giant, intact wetland there at, at uh, Loch Bell? And she told me, she said, well, that's one of our top priority areas. And uh, she said, it's your job to see that that gets protected. And uh, it was really interesting because a little bit of the story behind that, most of the, pro all the property there was owned by uh, Lake Superior Land Company, which is a subsidiary of, um, of um, International Paper Corporation. And um, so I started doing some poking around there and, say, and talking to people and talking to International Paper. And they said, oh, the land's for sale. If you want to buy it, you're, you know, you're welcome to, you know, to make an offer on this. And they, at that time, had property platted off into lots to turn that into a subdivision. And um, so I talked, to, and luckily I know Walt Arnold is not there, but at that time they had a real estate person by the name of uh, Walt Arnold. And... Um, he, I helped him considerably on the tip of the Keweenaw uh, project, and he said, well, you know, work with me on uh, Bay Degree Wetlands, and I'll give you some kind of a good deal there. So we finally worked out a, a uh, protection project, which in, involved uh, roughly 1,100 acres of the most significant land there, including 4,000 acres of shoreline um, along Bay Degree Wetlands. And um, it took us a while. We had to work with, we worked with a guy by the name of Steve, ba Steve Byer with the Department of Natural Resources, and he said there's coastal monies available for this project. He said it's a good area. So the, the inter interesting thing I meet is I, I met with Steve Byer up here at this wetland area, and it was pouring down rain, and it was cold that day, and it was in August. And he said, you know, let me run back to the car. i got to get this all down to my computer. So he hopped in the car, and he said, my computer's fogging up. You got to turn on the, uh, you know, the defrost into this to get me down. So he basically generated the proposal to this national uh, uh, wetlands uh, conservation area to, um, you know, work on that land and, and get that protected. We finally got the money. We also got quite a bit of money from the Great Lakes Fishery Trust which is a significant trust um, in, in the state of Michigan that provides acquisition money for important wetland areas. 